Howdy folks. In this video I'm going to show you how to tile an image. So we're going to take this image, we're going to make several copies of it in a single image. Right? That can be useful if you're printing uh, you know, a series of you know, 4x5s or you know, 2x3s or whatever you want to do. And also you don't have to use this technique solely with duplicating a single image. You can actually combine a whole bunch of images in this way using the same kind of math, etc. Okay. So uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is select everything that's in this image. So we're going to say select all, okay, and then we're going to copy it into the clipboard. So edit, copy, all right. Now, um, for your background color, you know, click on your little square at the back there and just select something like red here in, in our case that um, is not in the edge that you want to add to, right? So a color uh, sort of unique from the image that you're working from if you can if there's such a creature so uh, and I'll show you why and that is because when we say image canvas size we want to push to the right so we click on the left hand side okay and that shows the arrows it's going to push the canvas out in this direction we're going to double the width here we're going to uh, actually we're going to add the width of what we have in the clipboard because so if you've already added a, one or two columns or rows um, it won't be doubling, it will be just adding the width of what's in the clipboard. So in this case, it's going to be the 300. So we're going to add uh, 300 to 300, which gives us our 600, and click OK. And you'll see that we now have this nice block here. Okay. Um, now you want to click on your magic wand tool, the fourth one down. If you don't see it, click and hold, and then choose it from... Uh, the little drop-down list. Okay, set your tolerance to zero so that it's only going to select the exact color that you have for the background. And make sure contiguous is on here. And we're going to click in that red space or whatever color that you chose. Okay, and then we're going to paste. So the reason that we make sure this is selected is that by default when you paste uh, whatever's in the clipboard will go in the center of uh, the canvas, right? But if you have a selection, it'll try and go in the center of the selection. This selection should be exactly the same size as what's in the clipboard. So when we paste like this, then we get a nice tiling, okay? So um, it's important to flatten at this point. So we're gonna go layer, flatten image. Every time you create a new section, flatten your image because it'll make the whole process easier in terms of selecting with the magic wand, etc. So now say, uh, you know, we could keep going in either direction, right? Let's go down and we'll, we'll tile it so we have a two by two square. So we're going to select all. We're going to copy that into the clipboard. So now it's just double the width of what we had before, but the same height, right? So now we're going to go into canvas size. We'll click on the top because we want it at the bottom. It's going to push down, right? And we want the height of what's in our clipboard is 450. So we're going to add 450 to 450 is 900. Okay, and we have our new area. So again, we're going to click there. Again, making sure that your contiguous is on here and tolerance is set to zero. Okay, we can go edit, paste, and now we have like so, right? And naturally you can keep going. So we can layer, flatten. Let's go ahead and do it one more time. We'll go select all, edit, copy, image, canvas size, okay? So we've got everything we're gonna go to the right, so we're going to double our width here, 1200, okay, we can click on here, edit, paste, view fit on screen if you want to see the whole thing, very nice, All right, and uh, once again layer, flatten, and we have a lovely tiled image, we can print that out, and you know, cut away the printouts if that's what you need to do or for whatever effect that you're after. Okay, so 
that's one quick and easy way to tile an image in Photoshop. And remember, um, if you're doing the math right, you can do this with uh, different images. So you could have, you know, different faces or whatever you're tiling and, and do a nice, uh, you know, I guess you'd call it a collage that way. Okay. Hopefully you found this helpful and interesting. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.